Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're taking a look at an amazing tool known as Particle Illusion. Now, Particle Illusion is a tool from Boris Effects and the beautiful thing is this tool is now available for free. So if you want to create particles, you want to get some emitters and you don't want to calculate these things on a 3D software, you just really want to get something that you can use for your composition, then this tool is basically the tool you've been looking for and of course you should go ahead and get it. Now, the Particle illusion was a tool previously owned by gen art so sometime in 2016 it got purchased by boris effect so one of the best things you've ever thought about doing with particles are things that you can do with this tool first of all you have millions and you know thousands of stuff that you can create by simply using the preset and also you know you can create these things and play with them on the other hand it makes use of a real-time gpu based particle generator so all of the particles you're going to be generating they are all real time and today we're just going to take a look at it see what and what you can do with it and also see how you can you know play with it it comes with forces you can you know keyframe stuff you can also deflect things in case you're looking for how to deflect stuff and finally we would also see if this is the tool that you should actually get once you take a look at the link in the description and download this tool and you open it up this is exactly what you're going to see now one of the cool things is you have access to over 2500 emitters that you can throw into your scene and start working with so once you have this you can actually go ahead and download this which is totally free you would notice right here that the ui looks pretty pretty simple now first things you need to know is from here you only need to save open and all that and this is just your basic edit right here is where you view certain stuff if you want to change your layout actions are taken from here this is your stage in case you want to zoom in zoom out and finally you have the help this is basically all you need to know about this ui the next thing which you need to know is this is your huge canvas where you can do a lot of things right here is where your timeline is and this is where the juice which are the effectors the particles all of the things you need to play with this is where they are and the properties are here if you want to preview this before you throw it in your scene you can do that from this part so first things we need to do is actually take a look at some of these things that we have here if you want to preview these things based on thumbnails you can simply click right here and you can see them on thumbnails now if you want to also preview all of them at once you can also go over to this section which is known as view within the menu and you can say browse so once you click on browse you can see all of these things of course i know you guys would be like okay now we've seen it how does this work how this works is very simple so for this all you need to do is just simply pick any of these things let's simply go ahead and find something very nice so we can you know pick this okay so i'm going to you know pick the fairy smoke so by just simply clicking on this click right here on your viewport that is it you have it directly there so once you press the playback button you can see this particle automatically starts creating itself generating itself you know doing all of the beautiful things you want it to do all right maybe this is not what you're looking for probably you're looking for something even cooler so this time we're going to just simply find uh you know let's find something i will look for a simple fireworks you can pick any of the fireworks that we have here and i'm simply going to click on one of them and click right here and maybe click on here and click here and maybe click here and once you press the playback button you can see this happening right now once you create something like this from the point where you create it is where the animation starts what i mean is once we also go over to this part where we have the spark fire or the spark flare and click right here and press the playback you can actually see that it says starts from here you can use this to change the position where you want this thing to start from so with this now i can just simply press the playback button and you can have that beautiful stuff going but this is not all about it this is more like what you can get but it's not all about it actually if you want to preview this before you drop them you can go ahead and click on the new metal and you can drop that right here and you can simply you know play with it see what it looks like and from here you can have an idea of how you can animate this so with a new project open we would simply find something really cool now within the samplers there are tons and tons of samples that you can play with all right these samples are incredible you can play with as much as you want so you can literally just play with the samples and for the most part i think the samples gets a lot of job done 
But if you want to get even way more cooler stuff, you can, you know, download the full pack and get these things happening. So I'm just going to drop one here, press the playback button to have this happening. And if you want to also animate this, it is very easy. And how you can do that is by simply turning on the keyframe. All right. So once you turn on the auto key, that is all you need to do. So right here, I'm just going to set the auto key right here. Go over to frame 60, move this over to a point. So you need to, let's undo that. You need to click right here and move this over to wherever you want it to be like somewhere like there and maybe you can also move this over to somewhere like here all right so with this done if you go all the way back and press the playback button you can see that you have a pretty cool animation happening now this is a very linear looking animation and you can tell by the way this is all right you can tell that this is a very linear looking animation and how you can also make changes to this is by simply going over to a particular keyframe go all the way to the property that you've actually animated which is this and you can change this from linear to constant or bezier and once you change that you'll notice you have a tiny node or a tiny hand or a tiny handle here which you can control so we can control this and we can go all the way to 60 where we made our other choice and we can make that change as well make this a bezier Ooh, this looks good and make some changes like that and finally we can just simply position this wherever we want it to be so if we go all the way and press the playback button you can see we already have some pretty cool stuff happening for us now this is when you're trying to animate stuff what if you are also trying to create some sort of boundaries probably you don't want things to actually get out of hand for some reason you just don't like things getting out of hand how you can do that is also very simple meanwhile before we talk about that within this layer section is where you can create multiple layers and you can have as much stuff as you want to work with all right so you can create another layer right here so you can add another layer and another layer just like you can do in photoshop but for this version i noticed that you cannot really import images directly in it so if we want to make a couple of collisions all right so we want to have collision for example i'm just simply going to go all the way back turn this off select this object let's test it out here oh this looks good and i'm also going to drop this directly here so if i press the playback button you can see what we have but this is not what we want to get what we want to get is we want to create some sort of deflectors some some boundaries we don't want things to get out of hand all right so for us to actually do that what we can do is by simply going over to this part called deflect and click one two three four and double click to let go all right so once we do that and press the playback button and you can see we have that cool deflection right there now if you're also thinking about playing with the properties you can always always come over here and play with the properties right now i might want to increase the size of our firework all right now you can also notice that the deflector is here i really wish that you know these things do have some sort of color code so you can know exactly what you're playing with because you know all this gray and white simply cuts you a little bit off so with this you can make some changes if you want to increase the size if you want to increase the number if you want to increase the lifespan these are all things that you can do for particles but instead of going over to 3d studio max you know houdini cinema 4d blender or even maya to do all of these things you might just simply need this tool to get this out of the way so with this now you can see we can actually start creating some very interesting stuff this looks a little bit too much so i'll just i'm just going to go ahead and dial that down and press the playback button all right so i dialed it all the way off okay so we can see that all right so you can actually see real-time preview looks good so we can press the playback button right now and that is it you can you know have fun playing with this thing and 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 do a lot of stuff you can also go ahead and add motion blow by toggling motion blow right here and you will be able to have that motion blow effect so if i simply go all the way back and press the playback button right now you would notice we're having some sort of motion blow you know feeling happening there you can also choose to toggle this motion blow effect on and off from here so depending on what you want to do you can simply turn this on and off just to test and preview this before you apply it to your scene and this is very interesting to see let's take a look at one more example before we call it a wrap we will look at something even a little bit different all right so if you're looking for any of this cool stuff you can find so let's simply you know just simply go around oh the jet water looks good this is going to be very reasonable for anyone that is you know trying to create liquid simulation fake liquid simulation cool this looks good really good all right let's uh let's take a look at something else the ripple flash oh this is also cool so if you're also trying to okay this looks pretty nice okay this looks good i'm just simply going to take this all the way back press the playback button okay this is the falling splash wall so you can 
simply use this to do some pretty cool stuff all right this makes sense makes a lot of sense i like it so if you're into maybe water simulation stuff like that you might actually find this one rewarding and you know to play with so i would simply go back and find something that has colors you know we like colors a lot so let's go ahead and find something that has colors okay so what we will be getting is a very nice looking stuff let's simply go all the way upwards upwards i miss those stars all right so i would get the energy beam so with this energy no let's not use that so i would get the fiery all right so i'm going to drop the fiery there drag this all the way back press the playback button and you can notice that we have this thing happening all right and with this here let's actually you know position this where we want it to be increase the size and this is a little bit too much all right so we're just going to keep that there let me change the angle the position at which this is happening and yeah we want to change the angle just a little bit like that let's zoom this a little bit inwards flip this back and press the playback button okay so with this now we're going to add a couple of forces now what the forces does in you know in some sense it looks like you are trying to use this to create some sort of how should i explain this like you're using it to create some sort of wind force so you're moving the particles towards a particular point okay so if i sim so if i simply click on the first section and drop that right here just click to drop that right here you would notice that the force is pointing towards a particular you know place so i'm going to move this all the way back and you can start noticing the effect so if i move this forward which is where we are starting from you don't really see that but if i move this back you can see that it's already taking effect directly on the viewport so i'm just going to go back and with this i would also let's simply take this all the way back press the playback button and you can see it's moving the particle towards a particular point all right so if you're trying to create forces and you want to use them to influence things you can get this going i can also amp this all the way up and you can also notice that this is keyframeable so you can keyframe this so for example if i go all the way back let's go all the way back back and add a couple of keyframes so we have one keyframe here and then we would have another keyframe somewhere about here let's move that object a little bit forward select and move this and then let's go all the way back and also move this okay so we can have a pretty cool effect happening like that really cool so these are some very interesting things that you can do with this free tool and once you're done with this you can simply hit the render button and render this out this supports prores you can export i guess up to 8k all right yeah so you can export up to 8k and this is totally free so if you're trying to comp stuff you're trying to create some particles you don't want to spend so much time trying to create these things in 3d and you want to simply get something you can use for your composition real quick then i think this tool is definitely going to make your life extremely extremely easy extremely extremely easy and you can also notice that for the presets it supports prores and you can also export this as either mp4 or mov file so in case you're trying to create something like this or you're looking for a tool that can make your life extremely easy once you want to start making particles then i think the particle illusion from boris fx that is now for free is the best tool for you to use it is a free and easy to use particle generator and i think you should grab a copy of this tool right now so this is definitely about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to learn more about this directly on their page they do have a couple of tutorials a couple of videos that would guide you to getting started with working with this and you can actually see if there are more and more explanations of how these things work and you can also see how and how you can work with both the standalone and also the premium tool that they have for 295 so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace